Hello, welcome to this sidechain tutorial. Um, today I'm just going to go over the basics of how to achieve sidechain and how to apply it effectively to a mix. Um, just using a few tracks here. Um, so what I've done to get the tutorial started is I've loaded a bass patch from Nexus, a kick from Metrum. Uh, the kick can come from anywhere, you can use any synth you want as long as you have a kick and a bass track and then Groove Agent 1 uh, which is at the top of my list but if you go and check out in your list it'll be in there somewhere, it comes standard with Cubase bearing in mind this will work with previous versions of Cubase, I'm using 6.5 uh, it'll work in 7 and 7.5, it'll work in 4, 5 uh, possibly 3 and 2 I think it is the same for all of them, it's just standard um, so if we just open Groove Agent 1 Pick a kit that has a powerful kick in it. Uh, it can be anything, anything you want. I've picked this one. This is where I came to first. Right, we have a powerful kick. Now I've set the kick out here from the kick patch, and then this is the side chain kick. So at the moment, you can hear them both working together. So what we'll do for the purpose of this, we'll make a bass line. Um, we'll just make something simple here. Um, that'll do. Okay. So we've got two kicks playing. If we go to the mixer, now here, this is the easiest way to, to go about it. Uh, rather than clicking each individual track, and go into the inserts or the sends, even though it might be easier to see it this way. Um, it's quicker and more efficient in the workflow if you have this activated, which is all your inserts for your channels. I click this to get rid of the MIDI tracks because I don't use any MIDI features really through the mixer. I'll put them in the uh, inspector at the side here. So we've got the inserts. Here's the bass. And here's the side chain. Now we don't want to hear this kick, so if we turn it right down so it's off, okay, and on the bass channel, in the inserts, we've got the dynamics, compressor. Now we want to click this up here, which is the sidechain activation button. Uh, we want to turn auto on the makeup gain, because we don't want it to automatically make up the audio gain from what we've lost. And analysis, I just turn it right down. Everything else stays the same. Maybe turn the threshold a little bit further up. And that is set up ready. Now, with the side chain from here, you want to activate sends. Now, when you click up here, you get side chain base, which is down here. So this is what we've just put in. So we click that. Now, turn it on. We have two things to do. We've got a slider of how much of that signal we want to be applied to that compressor we've just put in from this, this is going to trigger this compressor. So it's going to go bang, bang. Whatever, Whenever the kick hits here in the side chain is when the audio will duck, hence the ducking process. So what we'll do, for just for this one time only, we'll go into the edit section here of the side chain. Now you can see it up here in the sends. We've got numbers we've got the decibel range so what we want to do is set that to zero for now and then we need as you can hear there is no activation of that kick and they're both soloed as you can see here so what we need to do is turn on pre-fade which enables it to send the signal without it being heard because it'll work if we send it there's pump compression so but we don't want to hear that kick, so we turn on pre-fade, and there you go. Now it's up to you how you tweak it, that's sounding very blocky at the moment, as you can hear. There, about there sounds good, depends, depends on what track you're making. And then that's it, that's how you set it up. And then if we put it in with a kick. There you go. Now I'm going to I'm going to add a synth into this, just for the the purpose of this exercise. Let's just chuck down here. Let's pick a lead. This will do. 
Okay, so what we'll do is we'll copy the data from the base patch. We'll just paste it in here. Move it up an octave. Now we don't want it clashing. So just, in fact, there we are. very powering. So what we'll do is we'll copy this compressor patch over just by holding alt on your keyboard and drop it in. Now all the settings are the same but that enables you now you can tweak that for that particular sound. Uh, with synths you typically need less than the bass uh, just so you get a bit of clarity. So now on the side chain drop down and you've got Nexus 2 which will be named appropriately for whatever it's named. So if we change that to synth1, when you go up here, it'll say synth1. So you can easily identify in your list then what you're working with. Turn it on, turn that up. Let's just turn it up randomly to about there, which is about zero. Now you can hear the effects. For just that, I've just turned it up so you can hear its effect. And that is all there is to it. Sidechain is very simple with Cubase.